Up, welcome to a brand new video. In the previous video, we added the first unit test for our task service. Uh, now I want to continue with you to write more unit tests. Uh, you might already know the drill. Just write test, and yeah, and then we <laughs> we will start the next test with fun because. Unit test writing is so much fun. <laughs> okay, um, now I want to add, um, add a test. When we create a new task, we want to check for the properties. So when task is created, then check for the task properties. Okay. So now we have our task field here, we will use it. Basically, I want to give this task all the properties that this task has, uh, except for yeah, except for the created on. So let's take task dot description equals how is it called? Request create request dot description. And uh, do this here is for the other fields as well. Let's take is task open. Is task open? Task. Uh, let's take the priority and say create request equals priority. Okay, now this would be our given. Copy it. Paste it, copy, paste. Uh, now what we were going, what we wanted to do is every time a task uh, is saved in this uh, test, um, it should return. It should give us this this task, our Google field task. Okay. Uh, we do it again with the every block from mock mock repository dot save and here we can also specify we have to give it a uh, argument and mock okay, provides us with the any type so anything get, that gets saved here any task basically should return this specific task okay nice and now we want to create a task object on the test create task so create task I uh, create request of course you want to save it in a local variable uh, I think yeah we'll just call it basically when we creating a task we get a PTO so I will just call it actual task PTO and for readability purposes for you guys this will always be of type task PTO nice so now we come to our then block and now we assert assert that Uh, okay, my ID is okay now. It was uh, it was just frozen. Now we can check again. And so what I was going to do just see. Um, okay, here comes the actual value. Let's put actual task detail inside. Okay, still recording. That's great. And um, is equal to. But basically, I just want uh, not that. I want description is equal to um, our task description. And duplicate the lines. And here we will say, so remove that is task open, nice. Uh, 
going to say and priority but so far so good and I think we can continue with the next one just to show you this should work right now let's run all of the tests nice as you can see everything passed it's so far so good and yeah just follow me Follow me now to the next test. Uh, next, I want to test a bad uh, request exception. Basically, I want to trigger an exception right now. So when, uh, when, uh, when client, basically when a client wants to save a, a task, which where there is already a, um, exception, uh, a kind of description in the database, we want to get an um, exception when task is I'm really bad at naming things as you can see when task description already exists exists then check for a request exception nice okay we need again our every block uh, every time uh, basically what we want to do we have in our service class uh, this helper method or not in our service class I'm so sorry uh, where we have it in our repository we have it this does description exist and we want to trigger this to true and so we get the exception let me close the, those things so mock repository Oh, does exception does description exist? And now we can pass again our any parameter from from the mock k library. So this should return always uh, true. Returns true. Nice. Now we trigger the case. Uh, we just store in an extra variable exception. Uh, exception, and we say assert froze. I'm not sure which one it is right now. Anasif, I think it's that one. No, it's not that one. Uh, we have to pass it as a parameter. Bad request exception. Say object on the test, create task. Pass the create request. Okay, nice. But I think we imported the wrong one. So let me just check. Uh, da, 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 da. Why is it red? Not sure which one, but just look at it. Jupiter, it should be from Jupiter, but Jupiter API, and here should be asset froze. Okay, uh, okay. Why is this right now? It's another question. Oh, da, 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 da. Ah, I'm so sorry. We, I just put it in in normal uh, parameters. Uh, okay. 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 Nice. Now it's now it should work. This is our just for you, so that you know this is given, and then and when in one. Well, basically we have you know given so so we say then okay and now yes we can uh, assert things uh, we say assert that assert that say um, Exception message mm -hmm. I think this is the 
too much right now. Yes. Too much parentheses and say is uh, equal to let's let's just say let's just see what our message should give us when a bad request happens. Ah, here, here we have it because we won't. We are calling this one, so we just copy here the message. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say which I would just take this one as okay. Uh, ah, I just forgot the dollar sign, of course. Save request and save message. I should say description. Okay, and now we can also run this method and see if this works. Just wait, I just forgot something. I wanted to call uh, something as well here. Just wait a second. Uh, okay. Just, I just I want to abort this and say here in this type of thing we should uh, call something else that. That the save is never executed. Verify. We want to verify mock repository. Mock repository. Let's save. Any was was not called. This is also provided. This ver verified block and this was not called is also provided by the. Uh, framework by mock and we have to import it of course and yeah now we are good to go to run again the test